It's like um, trying to throw a car in a pond. <laughs> I mean, he, he's he's big. I mean, it's, it's real difficult. I mean, I see why opponents struggle because he's so versatile. He can change from this and go from this type back. And it's just, it, I think I missed a tackle on him today. You know, it was just, he's, he's fast and quick and big, you know. So, I mean, got to get him down somehow. It seems like when he's got guys on his ankles, he can pull out where other backs can't. I, I I tell him all the time, you know, it, you know, when like the Arkansas run our freshman year, when it's like the whole team tackled him, and um, <laughs> you know, I tell him all the time that it, it'd be that one shoestring tackle that brings him down, you know, and he's just kidding around, but it he he runs hard, and I think that's one reason you can't bring him down because he runs hard. You relish the opportunity though when you get a shot at him. To I, I have like uh, during camp team run. I, I hit him one couple times. He kind of got mad at me, you know. <laughs> but um, it, it's all it's all football. But we have fun with it. Do you ever slip up and hit the quarterbacks in practice? Oh no, Coach Saban getting mad. You know, we we tag <laughs> off and just run on by. You know, we don't want that problem. <laughs> is, it, is it hard sometimes that to, to, you, you've got them lined up just perfect? Yeah, it is, it is kind of pull. You know, you work so hard to get there and then just just pull up. But I mean, we, we I've been here three years, so I'm kind of used to it now. So, is that on add on to opening week being able to finally, you know, go get yours and get your sack? Can't wait, can't wait. Words can't explain. You know, being in 101, however many fans, you know, just and getting to hit somebody else besides each other. So I mean, it's gonna be fun. Nico, take us through a, a pregame like. What? The adrenaline that courses through your body. I mean, are there physical changes? You know, do, do you feel that? I don't think it's a physical thing. You know, it's just a mindset. You know, just changing from. You know, I like that. I like to play around. You know, on game day. So I mean, as soon as I hit the bus, hit the stadium over there, it's like a whole mindset change of. You know, it's business now. You know what I'm saying? So I put put my headphones on and just you know relax and just think about you know the whole week of preparation and just go after after what we came to do. Hey, were, were you glad you were inside today? And you know, th does that help uh, with the legs later on? Or? It, it does, but I, you know, we play at 11, so it's kind of going to be hot. So I kind of want to be outside, but you know, we'll be out tomorrow. So it, it, it's, it's nothing different for real. What did the, what did the locker room think of the addition of Deron Carter? Oh, he's working. You know, everybody noticed today that he's kind of going a little extra hard. I mean, you got to respect the fact that he, you know, he's doing what he's doing, and he's just working. You know. He, he wants to get on the field, you can tell it. Did it lift the spirit of the team at all? Not that the spirit of the team would be down, but I mean, do you guys feel like it gave it any kind of an emotional boost? Yes, sir. He, he like I said, he's, he's working hard. And you can, like, when he first got here, you know, he was kind of new. He was kind of, you know, he didn't know anybody, but like now he fits in and he, he's taking his role to the max now. So, I mean, we respect him to the fullest. So, y'all weren't teasing him about being a camp holdout? Oh, no, sir. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. On game days, do in the locker room, do the guys that are, like to be loose on game days stick together and, and stay and the guys that are uptight on game days stick together? Pretty much, pretty much like me, like all the linebackers, pretty much the defense, we like to clown around, you know, we like to stay relaxed because, you know, we over there with Coach Saban. So um, it, it, I don't think it's split up. It's just, just a lot of them, you know, separate, go do their own thing, headphones. So, I mean, it's just we got our certain ways, you know. So, I mean, we, we do what we have to to get ready. Who's the most serious guy in there on a game day? Um, I say Coach Saban. <laughs> <laughs> was Duran's situation something y'all paid attention to through camp, or was just kind of when he got enrolled? And was just kind of a. I mean, that was it. You know, he came here. You know, did a little seven on seven with us. You know, did, you know, just a little bit. But uh, we we didn't pretty much pay attention to it. But we just told him when he get here, just. Work hard, and that's what he had done. That's what he done today and, and yesterday, or whatever. But can you talk about just being the first game since the tornado? It's 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 gonna. I think it'll be an emotional game for us, and you know, it may be for the Kent State players, some of them, and I know it will be for the community and, and Tuscaloosa. Uh, I mean, we've been working hard. I guess up to this point for that this game, and we didn't realize how big this game is going to be to so many people. So you know, we kind of turned it up this week to, to prepare, and um, it's just it's going to be an emotional game for us. 
did you get to know some of those guys pretty well when they came down? Yes, sir, I did. Uh, I can't think of his name. He's a running back, you know. I, yeah, that's his name. You know, we, we kind of connected a little bit because he kind of felt, you know, really bad about what happened. But, I mean, we got to take care of business Saturday. I mean, that's what we're going to do. But after that, we'll be friends forever. How hard is it to prepare for a season opener when you're playing a team with new coordinators and a new head coach and you don't know quite what to look at film-wise? Um, it, it ain't that hard. You know, we got Coach Saban. So we, we, we pretty much study, like, uh, you know, places their old coach used to be and, you know, just try to put stuff together. I mean, Coach Smart and Coach Saban, they do a good job of doing that. So, I mean, we just do what they tell us and go from there. Do you prefer kind of opening up your schedule, kind of easing in, or would you rather play like a big, big opponent like LSU's playing Oregon? I, I would, you know, I think it has set the tone really high for, you know, SEC play and, you know, every, every week is up intensity like crazy. So I, I would love to, me personally. You been able to peek at Penn State at all? Nah, I, I, I'm the type of player I don't, you know, I respect my opponent to the fullest, so I don't go to that next week until, you know, that Sunday after the game. So, I mean. One more, guys. Do you like these early morning kickoffs? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a night game um, <laughs> player, so, I mean, it's going to be it's gonna be difficult getting up that early because it'll be my first game that early since I've been here. So. How early do you have to get up then? What, what time do you have to be? We play at 11-something, so I'm sure we have to get up about probably 8-something because we got uh, meetings and we got pregame meals. So.